my channel and welcome to today's Halloween house tour for 2021. I'm gonna go through my kitchen and living room and my entryway and just show you how I decorated this year. I'm not decorating our bedrooms or anything this year so I put a little bit more into decorating the living room and the kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Halloween house tour. I'm gonna go ahead and put most of this stuff on my Amazon storefront. So if you guys are interested in purchasing anything, I'll put the links down below. A lot of the stuff is from like Home Goods or Ross. So some of the stuff I just did like similar items I linked for you guys if you're interested from Amazon. But a few of it is from Amazon. So I'll go ahead and put the links down below for you guys. So yeah, grab some coffee and let's get into today's Halloween home tour. Okay, so I'm starting as you walk in. We have this little mat from Ross that just says enter if you dare. And I just thought it was really cute right here. Pretty simple. And then as you walk in, we just have this little entryway area that I wanted to keep very simple and mostly black and white. So I have these really cute little spiders from at home that I just thought were perfect right there. And then a black candle, a little black book, and then this little cat. Um, these two things were already here before i think this is a candle from home goods and then this little cat was from at home and i just thought it was really cute and then this little happy halloween sign from at home so very simple right there but i just thought everything looked really good right there because it's just all kind of like black and white and flows well and then i just have these little bats right here i was thinking about putting more right there but i just didn't get to it yet I can't decide if I want to put more right there. I didn't want it to be like over the top. But I just thought those were cute right there. And yeah, that's kind of the area right here. It just looks really nice and creepy, but not too over the top right here. And then up top here, I hung these little witches that I found from the Dollar Tree yesterday. And I just thought they were cute right there as you walk in. There's three of them, but they have a bunch of them um from dollar tree they have like a ton of different colors and i thought they were adorable hanging low ones so when you walk in it just looks cute and then over here we just have this little skeleton that's hanging right there and he glows in the dark so if you walk by him at night it's kind of spooky but i thought it was cute right there so that's what it looks like from this side not too over the top but just a little bit of Halloween touches. Going from the entryway to our little bar area. I just have this here for the booze sign that I got from Amazon. I will link it for you guys. And I thought that was really cute right there. And then I just have this skull from the Dollar Tree that I got I think last year. But they have similar ones this year. And then over here I printed one of these little signs over here. Put a little pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. The sign I got on Etsy and then I have this skeleton that's pretty cool right here. We actually get these from our local grocery store from Harris Teeter. So we always get like a bunch of them and they're like under $5 and we think they're really cool. So I always have a bunch of them around the house because they're kind of cool and it's always fun to have them like all over the house on Halloween. But I just thought this area was really cute. I just kind of set it up like that and yeah so that's the bar area coming from the entryway and then over here i just have our tv stand or our center island thing for the tv area and i really kept this area kind of simple so i have these little timed candles from amazon and just put three of those they're battery operated so they kind of look cool at night and then again i have these little tiny spiders that i put on here just to add a little bit of something, but not over the top. Then over here, I have our little plant from Ikea, or big plant. And I just put these candy corn lights on it. And I just thought that was cool because the plant was a little bit summery. So I just kind of added the lights and at night it looks really cute. And looks a little bit more festive for Halloween. So that's that area right there, not too crazy. And then over here, I just have a little pumpkin. And then onto the fireplace, I love decorating this 
area because we've never had such a big fireplace before so i didn't go too overboard but i did make it like really cool looking so over here i just have this boo halloween pillow i actually got this cover on amazon and it looks really cute right there it just fits perfectly and then this cool looking spider that i got from the dollar tree and then those candles i actually used for in my like fall clean and decorates with me and i got those from ross but they look kind of spooky at night and cool for halloween as well so they're battery operated and you can put them on the timer they also have the same ones on amazon and i'll link those down below for you guys because they're super cute and i love them and they flicker too so they look pretty cool and then moving on to the garlands um these ones were from walmart I think all of them were actually from Walmart, I'm pretty sure. And then Walmart or Amazon, I can't remember. I think some of them were from Walmart, some of them were from Amazon. And then this thing was also from Amazon, but you can get them kind of anywhere. Dollar Tree, I think, has those. And then over here, I just put these bats that I got from Amazon, and they came in different sizes, so I kind of put it up all the way up the fireplace, and I thought it was cute like that so and then another one of these skeletons from Harris Teeter I actually found some on Amazon too they have different ones so you can purchase those on Amazon if you like those and then over here I just put these pumpkins that are black and white my whole theme this year was pretty much black and white but like little hints of orange that i thought looked really cool so everything's pretty much black and white and i have like little hints of orange and then a little bit of purples but very very tiny bit but everything else pretty much black and white white so i really like that theme this year these are from at home they were fairly cheap definitely under ten dollars and i just love them right there they're really cute and then just put some black books right there and then another spider from the dollar tree and then moving on to this little area which is super cute i love this tree i'm like literally obsessed with it um i found this from home goods but i found some simil similar ones on amazon they'll link for you guys and i just think that's super cute right there good area for it and then that little sign a real witch with lives with lives here with her little monsters i just thought that was cute and that's from at home so yeah that's the fireplace area right here i think everything looks cool and stands out against our white fireplace i'm sure i can probably add some more stuff right there but i wanted to keep it pretty simple and minimal this year so that's our fireplace and then over here i just have the little pumpkin from the dollar tree and then another pumpkin that i got from ross which is more fallish looking but i kept it there just because i thought it was cute i don't decorate this area too much because it's within reach of our toddler so that's why that stays kind of minimal and then over here i have my couch area and then just like the little area over here so these pillows are literally my favorite. I love the skulls on them. These are from Home Goods. I got two of them for $24 and I'm just obsessed. They're really soft and I just love how they look. I'm sure I'm gonna use these every year. So they were like two for 25. And then this pillow is super cute. Also got it from Home Goods. And I just love how it looks. It just kind of brings the whole area together. It looks simple, but still very decorative. And then this blanket was from Home Goods. It's super, super soft. And I love how it's black with just like the orange pumpkins. And just love how it all looks. And then that orange blanket, we already had it. It actually has llamas on it on the other side. But I kind of turn it around and just use the orange part of it to make it a little bit more for Halloween. And then this little area over here, these little pumpkins. So this was actually a little garland, pumpkin pumpkin garland that I got from Home Goods, I believe, or Ross. And our toddlers, you can see these are like messed up already, but our toddler got it all um, tangled up and I literally cannot untangle them without ripping them. So I just put them over here with the candle to make it look cool and not have the candle by itself and then just have the boo candle that i got from home goods and it smells really good on the other side is that face and i just thought that was cute right there so 
so yeah that's our living room area and our fireplace i just think everything looks pretty cool and cute for halloween and then moving on to the dining room i really didn't do a lot with this area this year because this is like one of the most used spaces in our house and having our toddler just does not work putting stuff on the table so i kept the space very minimal i literally just put this um tablecloth that i got i think from last year but i can't remember where i got it either amazon or one of those places dollar tree or home goods or ross and then i have one of these again um our toddler ripped his arm off so um that's why he's armless but yeah i thought that was cute right there so I, yeah this area stays pretty minimal and not a lot of stuff but still kind of festive with the tablecloth and the little skeleton and then moving on to our kitchen i absolutely love this space and how i decorated it this year i just love how it looks at night especially it's very minimal but still looks really cool so i'm just gonna go through everything and show you guys just have my little pumpkin spice candle going um so over here i just put these halloween oreos in here i just look like how it looks right there plus um my toddler and my husband just you know they walk in here and just eat the cookies and then over here i just got this little pumpkin from target for like a few dollars and you can actually write on that in chalk but i don't have any chalk so i just kind of left it right there just to make it a little bit more festive by the window right there these lights i had from last year i think they're from walmart and they're just like orange halloween lights and then the spider from the dollar tree i just decided to put it up there because I just thought it looked cool crawling up the wall and then also that bat i got from um dollar tree last year again thought that was cool right there just to add a little extra touch it looks spooky and then i just have this little soap for halloween it says trick or treat on it from home goods and i thought that was cute right there and then not too much over here and going into the coffee bar area which is my favorite i love this area right here this mug i got from home goods and i just think it's super cute and spooky and this area is just like i kept it pretty much black and white and then added hints of orange and yeah i just thought that was really cute i have this black tree from target i think it was five dollars and i just thought it was cute right there i love it it just makes it like fills in the space right here i have this trick-or-treat my pretty sign right here and i think this is from at home and i just thought that was cute right there and then the switch right here from the dollar tree from last year i love this but it's kind of spooky every time it's like sense uh, motion sensor so every time you walk by it it makes that sound so i thought it was funny and then this little lantern from the dollar tree they have like a ton of really cute halloween stuff so i definitely recommend checking dollar trees out near you because they have a ton of like cute little decorations and then these little things i got from target they have like a ton of them i thought they were really cool and then here i just put like the coffee syrup in here toxic brain juice and i thought that was cute this candle i got from home goods and just put it right there kind of cute and then these little tiered um or little trays whatever you call these little um i can't think of the word right now but this they all came in a pack of three for i think five dollars at the target dollar section so yeah, if you like these check your target out because they had these and i thought that was cute right here and perfect for kind of the vibe i was looking for the straws i got from target and they also came with like little teal ones but i took those out because i just like the black and orange ones so yeah that is the coffee bar area i think that's really cute on that side and then on this side i got this black three or two tiered little tray from target dollar section i think this was five dollars and then i got these little pumpkins also from target three of them for three dollars and i just love this little area right here everything looks so cute and so festive i am obsessed with it and then i just put like little whoops little halloween candies in here um in this little vase that i think is from like the dollar tree or something but yeah so that is my coffee bar area i pretty much put everything all the halloween stuff in this area just because i like how it looks and i love waking up and having my coffee right there 
And then in here, I just added the little pumpkins. They're more like fallish, but I found these from um, from Target and I thought they were cute right there instead of putting my spices right there. So I'm probably just gonna keep those right there for now. But other than that, that is pretty much all of it. I'm just gonna show you guys through again. There's the living room. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Halloween home tour of 2021. I love showing you guys everything and like I said, all the links will be down below for you guys if you're interested in purchasing any of the stuff or things that are similar to what I got from different stores. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, please subscribe to my channel. My toddler is waking up right now, so you can probably hear him in the background. But yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post every Wednesday and Sunday usually. And yeah, I'll have a lot of exciting content coming up, especially with the holidays coming up, Christmas and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, the rest of your weekend and enjoy this upcoming week. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.